Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Alexander from the Indigo Light YouTube channel and blog. Uh, here we are with another video. We're going to be talking a bit about the energies of the last few days. This is a shorter video uh, and I have a couple of announcements that I think are important at this time. Um, what I'd like to give as the title to this video is going to be um, the element of faith in dealing with the most painful uh, parts of our lives that we're asked to release at this time. Um, what I try to do in 99% of my work is try to identify patterns in life from clients, things that come outward and from within, and try to address how to deal with those in the most fluid and easy manner. And then I try to pass it onward uh, by request of my guidance or intuition. Sick. Um, in terms of faith, I believe that we're all of us collectively, individually, all of us as one energy, one collective, one family, being asked to espouse the idea of faith as we deal with the biggest unknowns and the biggest question marks in our lives. The element that I've noticed in the last couple of weeks is a kind of replay and getting stuck in the most painful places. There are the core beliefs that we haven't yet, yet dealt with, the things that we find ourselves stuck in most of the time that seem to not really, you know, not even, like it's, if you're stuck in mud and you're not really able to extract yourself from it. Um, the replay of that episode. On a personal note, I've been dealing with the most painful elements of my life over the last decade plus, again, kind of getting stuck in place and understanding that the only way I can really get out of it, because I have no idea what happens tomorrow or after tomorrow, is just by the element of faith. And accepting that if I choose to believe that I can be done with this, I can be done with this. But there is no way to get out of the mud, so to speak, um, and to get rid of this, you know, residual mud of the spirit, of the psyche, of the being without the element of faith. And this is what I want to transfer and kind of talk about in this video. It's not something new, obviously. We talk about we talk about faith all the time. The mechanism that I like to use is the kind of mantric constant reminder of, of, of self that we need to address things in a certain way. For example, um, if you are dealing with a situation again and again and again, like I do a lot of the time with, with clients and sessions, I, I, I kind of display the, the crossroads in terms of our behavior and how we deal with something. If we are on a tangent of negativity because we're in a situation that we're used to being in for so many years, over and over and over again, and it hurts, and it's the most kind of pertinent and painfully uh, ingrained in us core belief, and we don't know how to deal with it anymore, when we are confronted with that situation, and maybe anything from financial problems, health, relationship, feeling alone, loss of a home, any of those kind of overt painful things, we start to react in a, a kind of um, intuitive slash uh, victimization way, okay, which is the thing we've been doing for so long. We have to kind of stop ourselves and reprogram ourselves co cognitively through repetition and, and just, I guess, mantras or affirmations or whatever you want to call them to shift our perspective from the way we're used to dealing things to the way we should be dealing with things. Example, um, let's say a person has a tangent of negativity over a certain topic over and over during the week and it doesn't, doesn't seem to go away. Whenever they have those thoughts, because everything starts with a thought, those thoughts are projected forward and they start to manifest and take a form of reality. If they allow those thoughts to last for more than 5, 6, 10, 11, 15 minutes, they start to go into the hour, 2 hour, into the day mode. Okay, so they prolong that reality by creating it, by living inside of it. If we can catch ourselves by way of awareness and switch the attention and the focus to a different perspective, like, you know what, I recognize you, I'm not letting you take me there. I call on my guidance and on my faith and I know that I'll be fine because I choose to espouse and embody faith at this time and not to let you, my regular negativity, take me where you're used to taking me. All these years, all these decades, whatever, I shift. And I do this again and again and again as I cognitively reprogram myself. Okay, that's the exercise. And the uh, underlying uh, lesson here is the really the element of faith in the places that we find the most painful. The, the places what we find the most painful, the lessons that we have resisted learning up until this point are the ones that are still there because we're not letting go. And it's really important to be, and this is something I found over the last few days after an uh, inner battle with myself and letting go, the alignment with a new energy 
and the energy is the, the release of the resistance. So sometimes we're more comfortable being afraid and negative than letting go of that and venturing into a place where we don't have the control of fear. The control of fear means if I go through something a hundred times, I know how to deal with it a hundred times because that's what I've been doing all these years. If I say to you, shift your energy, when you start to get into this situation, don't let the fear. Trust the unknown, have faith. You may look at me like I'm crazy and say, I don't want to do that because I use the fear and I use my ego and these mechanisms as a protective shell. And I go through this and this is the way I know how to do it. I don't know how to do trusting in the unknown. That's exactly the change. And that's not easy. I'm not going to act like it is because it's not, but it's necessary. It's a shift towards a new place and a new way of dealing with things. Whatever I try to do in terms of work is to try to be straightforward and pragmatic. I, I will do a video probably today, tomorrow, the day after. I've been asked to do a video on authenticity and I've been asked to do a video on labels and trying to find ourselves by different kind of labels and niches that we fit ourselves in. But that takes away our power from ourselves. I'm trying to gear everything that I do from, you know, on my own experience to try to design a life by working on ourselves and bringing the focus back to us constantly and not trying to focus on what's going outwards. Okay. What I'm trying to say is it's simple. It's within. It's an inner state of being and the work that needs to be done within. And there's no need to add uh, what, what clients like to call the fluff to it. There's no need to embellish it or subtract. The point is just to deal with the fear at hand and the difficulties at hand and release them by exercises, affirmations, positive thinking, and positive uh, visualizations of the world. Okay, Because ultimately our reality is what's within. If you only see fear and negativity, it's because you're, you're letting that penetrate here. If you want to rise above all these elements and you want to create a new reality for yourself, again, it begins within. Don't look outward. It will never help. Okay, The validation, the, the pointing you on the right path may help from a guide temporarily, but ultimately you're the one doing the work. You're the one who's making the changes and making the decisions to make the changes. Okay, So to recap briefly, the element of faith in dealing with the most painful places that we're used to going down a certain negative path with, we're supposed to switch and go into the faith in the unknown element. Okay, how to do so? It's not easy. It's practice. Practice makes perfect, especially in this. There is no specific meditation that will save you. There is no uh, ritualistic or dogmatic practices that will, again, save you. It's about training ourselves to be more positive, training ourselves to, be, uh, to believe more in ourselves and in the process and in the unknown. And not espousing fear or any of those elements anymore like a protective layer against the unknown. The unknown is not always a bad thing. In a place where we're at today, it's actually the best thing. It's just very difficult to trust in the unknown and to trust that we will get to our destination regardless. And uh, with the least amount of pain necessary. Because we're used to pain and suffering. That's our learning curve, unfortunately. Okay, um, that's what I wanted to share. It's a bit of a briefer version today. Um, I, I am here to help. Okay, if you want to send emails, you can send emails to indigolight2222 at gmail.com. I want to point one thing out for the sake of the YouTube channel. Um, there is a community tab. Along all the tabs, there's the playlist, videos, and all the. You'll find a community tab. I, I understand not everybody has Facebook, and I wanted to reach out to the community. I'm not very tech savvy. I'll be straightforward about it. I discovered this thing a few days ago, so I've added already a couple of posts. And if you want to keep up to date with the developments of Indigo Light, workshops, uh, dates, upcoming videos, topics, lessons, whatever, it's going to be there if you're not already on the Facebook. The thing, the technical thing I want to point is when you subscribe to the channel on the, I believe it's the right hand side of your screen, there's a big kind of red subscribe button. And if you subscribe, sorry, it says subscribed, there's a little bell next to it. The bell is not notifications. Just make sure that you've clicked on that. So whenever there's a post on the community regarding something, and this is if you resonate with the channel, of course, if you don't, it's perfectly fine. Press on the bell and it will send you notifications when there are new posts in the community section. Okay. Um, there is an upcoming uh, authenticity video, which I think is very pertinent. I have this urge to, you know, to put this out there for a while now. And my guidance has validated that it needs to be today, tomorrow, the day after. Um, and I will continue lessons. I've put a lesson on channeling. 
It was a free lesson. Um, there will be other lessons that will be introduced in the website. You know, what is meditation, for example, the truth about what meditation really is, not to glorify or, you know, paint things in a different picture. Uh, lessons of accountability. And um, one thing I find very important is a lesson regarding 3D medicine and psychology versus the 5D perception of the body and psychology and the study of the psyche. Okay, because I feel like we need to be doctors to ourselves at this time, not necessarily go to physicians all the time because there is a certain programming in the medical field that is counterproductive for us as, you know, what you want to call light workers, people that are awakening at the moment. So I want to touch on that as well. Uh, and lastly, I will, you know, I will invite you to subscribe, to subscribe to the channel, of course, if you want to stay in touch. There's a Facebook, there is a Patreon or a PayPal account. Everything is in the description if you want to donate and help us with our efforts. Um, and now I have kind of two big announcements. Okay, the first one is a more immediate one. Um, on Sunday, there is a workshop called What is My Purpose? It's an online workshop. You'll have the, the link in the description. It's the two biggest questions I've been getting lately are were about twin flames and romantic relationships, and in the last month and a half, it's purpose. You know, people come in, I'd say 85% of sessions that I do are about shifting from the way you're used to creating abundance to your purpose and doing something that's meaningful and fulfilling and still making the creating the ability to pay the bills. Okay, so I'm geared gearing that workshop towards that. It's an online workshop, 3 p.m. EST on the 25th on Sunday. Uh, via click meeting, it's a software like Zoom. Everything is in the description. The second thing, and this is where I need your help. Okay, I'm asking. Um, I, I many years ago, wanted to do this, but I wanted to do it in person. Because, and I'm appreciative that I can do this via the internet and reach out to people from all over the globe. It's truly amazing, you know. I have clients from, I don't know, Aruba and Trinidad all, all the way to Malaysia. Uh, it's a very cool experience, I'm not going to lie. I would like to create some in-person events in the area that I'm in, okay? I've gotten some invitations to do in-person events abroad. I want to reach out to the community. I am currently based in Ottawa, in, actually in Gatineau, in the French part of, uh, of the area, Ottawa, Gatineau. It's a dual city. Um, if you are in the vicinity, if you are interested in attending an in-person event, I would appreciate if you could leave it in the comments or if you can send an email to indigo light 2222 at gmail.com okay so i can get an idea of the interest and the uh, logistical ability of people to get here to get to the i would consider doing it in the wakefield chelsea area i find the area very beautiful there's some potential locations i've looked at and it would be from anybody from i if you are in canada of course otherwise unless you want to fly or drive in it's going to be a bit difficult Anybody from Perth and Kingston all the way to Montreal and, you know, north. Is it is it viable or is it feasible for you? Are you interested? I just want to kind of a show of hands to see if it should be in this area or if it should be geared towards another location. Okay, um, that's it. I want to send you my love and my gratitude. I, uh, I am eternally thankful for all the feedback and, you know, in even in difficult moments with myself, sometimes I get emails, comments how it's able to help people and I really get touched and I get a bit emotional sometimes but moreover I am thankful thankful for you know being able to do this to wake up in the morning have my coffee and help people and feel like I'm doing something meaningful not just paying the bills to pay my taxes and grow old and you know leave this body and do it all over again that's not what I wanted for myself um so thank you I send you my love and my gratitude and I wish you all the best Bye-bye.